A controversial proposal to tackle homelessness in La Mesa failed to gain traction in a city council meeting tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan. The idea, should the rural community of Campo be used to house homeless residents who are currently in La Mesa? Tonight, people living in Campo voice their outrage against the proposal. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more from Campo. Well, that's right. This 16 acre site here in the town of Campo is currently on the market for nearly five and a half million dollars and includes a church, post office, gas station, even border patrol offices. But under this proposal, it could also eventually offer housing for homeless people currently staying in La Mesa, which is an hour away from here. Yes, they're shoving them out here. Just hours before La Mesa City Council opted not to move forward with this idea, Teria Steinhauer, who's lived in this area her entire life, had already given her thumbs down. No, we already get the pedophiles out here. We don't need a bunch of homeless people living out here too. A sentiment echoed by her daughter, Katie McRoberts. Campo needs to be built up. It doesn't need to be brought down anymore. La Mesa no, City Council Member it. Laura Lothian proposed exploring this purchase, so although new. specific details on exactly where the homeless would be housed, what services would be provided, and how they'd be funded was not clarified. Like again, wanted to explore a huge parcel that, ha that used to be an army barracks instead of just people living on dumpsters and living in parking lots. This area was previously up for sale back in 1994 and as recently as 2019, a community that has consistently struggled. Because, I mean, there's not much resources here. Crystal Rivera lives here and works at Campos Community Center. She says it's hard enough to provide those living here with what they need, although she's open to the idea of aiding the homeless. I feel like it would be harder for them or for us to help them. I mean, we can help them in any way that we can, you know, but I don't, I don't know if that would be enough. Kimberly Hymas, who moved here from La Mesa, says she and other families have safety concerns if large numbers of homeless people were to move to her small community. For parents like us, I think it would worry the majority of us that we are going to have that kind of situation so close to where our kids are. And with this proposal not receiving the support by La Mesa City Council needed to advance, it's one fewer worry for this community. Richard Allen, CBS 8.